Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. There are many people who love ministry. You know, I've seen this often where people, they, they love going to church. They love um, putting on nice clothes. They love getting together with people and um, having activities and, you know, doing the things that, you know, churches do in the world. They love um, being a part of praise teams and singing songs and the songs that they play. And they love um, preaching to people and evangelizing and going on mission trips. And the Lord has it on my heart to give a warning to these people because, you know, before I came into the kingdom, I seen many people like this, uh, people that have a zeal for church and a zeal for ministry. And they um, put so much effort into um, what they believe is serving God. But the Lord gave us a, a, a powerful example in Luke chapter 10 with um, Mary and Martha. Jesus was um, at the house of Martha and um, her sister Mary was there and, and, and Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. But Martha, she was up. She was up uh, busy working serving trying to prepare things and she was kind of upset with her sister and, and asked the lord to make her come and help me serve but jesus told martha that mary had chose the the better place the good place at his feet to hear his word and this is the deception of the enemy and i pray that you can hear it because what happens is I see a lot of people, they come into the kingdom of God, they enter in, or even before they enter in, and the enemy tells them that they need to get to work. They need to serve God. But he, he tells them a, a false service, what it is to serve God. And, and what happens is these people forsake sitting at the feet of Christ. They forsake intimacy with him and this is why there are going to be so many people that are crying lord 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 i did these things i served you i worked in your kingdom i went to church i sung on the praise team i did all of these things in your name but he'll say i never knew you get away from me It is intimacy with God that is the work. Someone asked Jesus a question, what is the work? They, they asked him, what is the work that we should do that we so that we can work the works of God? And Jesus told them that the work of God is to believe in the one that sent him, which is Christ. So it's to hear his words and put them into practice. It's to walk as he walked love as he loved so it's not just about ministry it's not just about going out to preach to people you know the moment someone you know walks into the kingdom they immediately want to go out and teach and preach and most times that leads to much error much harm because you have not even yet learned the heart of christ you have not yet come to know him. You have not yet come to learn that the one who plants and the one who waters is nothing. But it's God that brings the increase. So you feel like that you have to go out and save people. That you have to go out and do this work. Not knowing that you are nothing. And that it is Christ who saves. Yes, he can use his children, and it's a blessing to us, not to him, because he he can save without us. He doesn't need us. He he allows us to do these things because he loves us. 
because he gives us good things and those are good things, but it comes because you know him and because you have supped with him. You have sat down and eaten with him and got to know him and know his heart and is one with his spirit. So he gives to you these precious things, but it's not you that is going out to save people. It is the Lord. There's one savior. It's Christ. He is the ministry. <laughs> so, you know, don't let the enemy deceive you by making you anxious to go out and save everybody. That, Like you are the savior of the world. No, your place is always intimacy with God. Dwelling in his secret place. Eating of him. That is your place. Worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Being careful to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. To hold on to what you've been given. If you've been given him. So I wanted to give this warning. Because I, I've seen this often. And you know. There are people around me who are coming into the kingdom. And. and you know, I just want to encourage you, keep your eye single on Christ, on pure intimacy with him, spending time with him, much time with him, seeking his face, seeking his heart, seeking to be established in the kingdom. That is what pleases God. And if you are counted worthy by him, he'll give you precious things. He'll he'll give to you to uh, see others enter into the kingdom and let you be a part of it. But never forsake intimacy with God for ministry. And I pray that you can hear that because yes, we have a love for souls when we enter into the kingdom, when we come to know God, but you must understand that he is the savior. He is the giver of every good thing, not us. And his command is that we, we worship him and that we keep a single eye on him and on the things that, uh, that we labor for things that are eternal. And that's done in obedience to him. That's done in knowing him. Not... Uh, going on uh, ministry trips and things like that. That may come, you know, as the Holy Spirit causes you to grow. But if you step out without the Lord, then it, then that will be deception to you. And you could end up being one that cries, Lord, Lord, and telling the Lord what you've done. But you never put the effort and the time in to get to know him. Be blessed.